Hello, 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 hello. Lord have mercy. Should have put some WD-40 on this chair before I, before I sat in it. Hello, hello, hello. If you are watching the live, actually, let me see, what time is it here in America? 7.02, set two minutes late, but you know me. A queen is never late. Everybody else is simply early. Um, so it's 7.02 p.m. PST. If it's past 7.02, that means you're watching the replay, which means you can bypass all this stuff. When you come in, say, hey, girl, hey, let me know where you're coming from. Let's boost up these algorithms. Let's get shown up on the news feed. Um, hey, Laura Johnson Hedrick. Hey, girl, hey. Hey, Jamie Diller Blanton. Hey. Oh, so good to see you guys in here. I actually just had a conversation with those two um, this week, so I'm really excited to be here with all of you wonderful people. Thank you so much for having me in here. I wasn't planning on coming in here until October, but um, after this week, I realized, you know what, I need to come in here now. There is no time to waste. Uh, I think a fool says tomorrow, 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 and the time is now. Great stuff is happening right now in the universe, in this co in the cosmos, and I think it's high time that we all take uh, a little piece of that with us. Hey, Jennifer Going. Hey, girl. Hey. Tuning in from Oklahoma. Okay, Oklahoma. Rapid River. And hello, hun. Hello, Nicole Donovan. Hello, Chelsea Reber. Hello, hello. Hello, Nikki Center Ward. Hey, girl. Hey. All right. So. Let's get right into this because we have a lot, a lot, a lot to cover. Did you guys uh, print out your, um, dang it, what are these things called? Worksheets. Did you guys print out your worksheets? Oh, I forgot. Uh, you guys can invite your team members, uh, send them a little text message, say, hey, get your butt in here. We got work to do. We have things to learn. I'm not going to give you a... 30-minute introduction about how wonderful and amazing my life is and all the great things I'm able to do. I, I don't do all that stuff. Quite frankly, I don't have a very uh, lavish lifestyle. I'm very simple, very zen. I run my business through zen. I run my life zen. So I don't have any cute stories or anecdotes to tell you. However, I want to tell you guys, be present. Be present. Turn everything off. Send the kids downstairs uh, tell them hey listen we uh, I have stuff to do right now chill out um, turn off the TV turn off the computers turn off dancing with the stars just be present because you never know where that golden nugget is going to come from you never know where that aha moment is going to come from uh, Ray Higdon actually talks uh, teaches us that I'm going to name drop a few names uh, don't think uh, don't take it lightly. If I name drop like Ray Higdon, write that name down because that is somebody you should go follow. That is somebody who has taught me, obviously, somebody who I have learned from and you should go learn from them as well. I highly, highly, highly suggest it. Hello, hello. Um, I made it, sorry I'm late. Don't worry, a queen is never late. Everyone else is simply early, girl. Uh, Miss Lee Ray Geeks. Hey, girl, hey. So, <sighs> Pencils down. I will say that too. Pencils down. Too many times I go and I see people, you know, they're practically they're trying to write down word for word what I'm saying. And it's like, girl, you're going to break your wrist, child. Put it down. It's wonderful because up here, if you can see, there is a time timer there. So it is 407 now. So let's say you want to, I said something juicy or delicious that you really liked but you don't want to write the whole thing down. Just write 407. And then later, you can come back to it. And I strongly encourage you, if you guys are in any other trainings or webinars, do that instead of just trying to write it all down. It's just, it's going to be a waste of uh, time, I suppose. But let me see. Where do I even begin with this one? Your leader is going black your leader is going to be black. Uh, black status, as they like to call it, the, the top, right? Oh no, well actually, the, the one below the top. 
they have black status two or black status three. Which one is it? Uh, but she's going to be black status and we're going to help her get there. Yes? Now, whether you help her get there or whether somebody else comes in and helps her get there, she's going there. So if I were you, I would understand that you are here. I can't see or hear you. Can all you guys hear me? Maybe go out and come back in. You are here because you are not mediocre, you see. Out there in the other place, there are mediocre people all around you. Lots of mediocre people. I'm different, I'm not mediocre, and I don't attract mediocre people. So that means if you're here in the live, if you're here watching the replay, or if you're watching a blog post, congratulations, you're not mediocre. Which means that most likely you're gonna succeed too. Because this is a level playing field, you see what I want you to understand. This is a level playing field. You have the same opportunity to learn as every other Tom, Dick, and Stanley out there. You have the same opportunity to learn as me. Everybody out there in this uh, industry, this in business, business, we'll talk business. Warren Buffett said this. Business is a level playing field. Everybody has the same opportunity to read the same books that I'm reading. They have the opportunity to show up to the webinars. They have the same opportunity to show up to the trainings, yet they don't. And people ask me all the time, why do you give so much stuff away, Jack? You tell us, give stuff away, give stuff away, give stuff away. Well, number one, I give stuff away because I understand what you give in this world, you get to keep. And not only do you get to keep what you give in this world, but you get, back, you get it back ten times fold. Ten yeah, ten tenfold. So ten times. Um, uh, t -t 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 -t. Restart if that helps. Yes, restart if that helps. Sorry, I'm not really good when it comes to looking and reading the messages and uh, comments. Now, since this is a level playing field, and you guys obviously are not the mediocre, I'm going to tell you it is very simple. Very simple. But my God, it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work. I'm telling you, there is lots of work. There is not only the inner work, but there is the outer work. And I think once you work on what's inside, you can do anything, anything. And I strongly, strongly encourage that. Start working on the inside. Learn, understand, understand your value, understand your worth. Because once you understand your value and once you understand your worth, you don't have to go and convince anybody else about your uh, worth or your value. You just go out there, you be you, you attract people, and you start sorting, you see. You just sort. Um, now, for those of you guys who have talked to me this week, I'm going to speak about some, the same things I was talking to you about. Please forgive me. Um, you guys have actually inspired me to come into this training and share that. Now, what you will understand, no, I should stop saying that. What you will learn is over time, the more conversations you have with people, there are going to be what we call frequently asked questions. Now you take all the frequently asked questions and you turn that into video content and you give that out to the masses. That way you're not repeating yourself. See, I came in here because I said, okay, Jennifer Goen, if I'm going to work with you and I'm gonna work with your team, I don't want to repeat myself and say the same thing over and over and over and over and over. Number one, it's going to drive me nuts. It's so mundane. And number two, I'm a marketer. I'm an internet marketer. And so the great thing about being a marketer is that we can take lots of people and put their eyes on us in the smallest amount of time necessary. And because we are running businesses, our time is very valuable. Time is money. Time is very precious. And I... for. I, I, I do not spend my time, I do not waste my time with people who do not see value or worth in my time, because it is very precious. Even my friends will tell you. They say to me, my cousin, he says, Jack, I haven't seen you in a long time. I haven't seen your videos. I haven't seen your stuff. And I said, Noah P, the less you see of me, the more you know I'm working, boo. And the more I work, that means that there's more money in the bank and it's a win-win situation. Now let's talk about that because there's a great, um, 
a great affirmation that I learned this week that I've been sharing, I learned last week, I've been sharing with people this week. Write this down. Well, not right now, but write it down on your refrigerator. I would recommend this. I deserve to get paid. I like to get paid. And I work to get paid. And that's the JustJack.com guarantee. I like to get paid. I deserve to get paid. And I work to get paid. You work to get paid. Take the word free out of your vocabulary. That's what, what's her name? Tell me. Oh, I shouldn't say what's her name. My homegirl, Miss Amber Voigt. The redhead queen of network marketing. If you don't follow Amber Voigt, I suggest you should go follow Amber Voigt. She's an amazing person. You have to see, you have to understand. Let me take you back to about two years ago. Two or three. I think it's two. I was lost. All right. I was working for a fashion designer. We were very successful. Now, let me, let's go back before that. All right. I used to beat this face to filth for the gods, honey. I spent 18 years inside of a closet, screaming to get out. Something inside of me was like, let me out, let me out, let me out. My, I call that thing just Jack.com. I call it my higher self. I call it me, my God, my spirit, my soul, the essence of who I am, my God, who I live through, whom I live and move and have my being. I kept that away for so long, 18 years. Can you imagine that? 18 years quiet. 18 years I kept this thing locked up in a cage inside me, not sharing it with the world. And uh, so after I came out of the closet, which I really don't have a coming out story, I just started wearing makeup. I started wearing makeup, started wearing high heels, and I started, I started understanding exactly who I was. And because I understood who I was, I allowed the world to understand who I was. And if there is something inside of you screaming to get out, maybe a leader, let it out. Do not keep that locked up. Share that with the world. And I promise you, I promise you, once you start sharing that with the world, everything else is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It really is. So I started wearing makeup and I started dressing a way that allowed me to express who I was. You see, makeup is art. Fashion is art. Makeup is freedom. Fashion is freedom. Don't you let anybody tell you that there are stupid rules. Like when they say, oh, you can't, you can't have a, a um, what is that called? You either focus on your eyes or focus on your lips. You can't have both too crazy. I'm like, who the hell said that? Excuse me. No. I'm going to have a dramatic eye. I'm going to have a dramatic lip. I'm going to have a dramatic nose, a cut crease. I'm going to have it all because I want it all. And when I have it all, I look good. And when, um, when you look good, you feel good. You really do. So I started working for a fashion designer. Actually, nobody would give me a chance, really. They were just... My family would say, uh, with all that makeup, no one's going to take you seriously. And I say, well, with all this makeup, why would I want them to? I don't want anyone to take me seriously. Life is too short to take anything seriously. You're not going to make it out alive. So you might as well have the best time you can possibly have and be the best person you can possibly be and share that with this beautiful world that we live in. And go find your tribe. Go find your tribe. The great thing about network marketing is that you guys can... You guys really find your family. You guys attract your family. You guys attract people who are just like you to come and hang out with you, to come and learn with you, to come and grow with you. That's what we do. So I started working for Andre Soriano. And child, when I tell you, the first two years in business will make you or break you. The first two years in that industry. Now it's kind of like it, it, things go faster nowadays. But in that time, I was young. I didn't know anything. I, I was trying to find out who I was, let alone run, help a man run a business. But we did it, and we were very successful at it. We attracted so much into our lives that he was on that uh, reality TV show um, with Rihanna. Uh, 
I forgot. But he was on he was on reality TV. He was on the red carpet. Now he's doing so much with this uh, new election season that we're going through and all, all kinds of stuff. Andre was doing very, very, very well. But what I noticed was I was Jack, Andre's assistant, or Jack, Andre's right-hand man, and I didn't want any of that. I wanted to be just Jack.com. I wanted to be my own person. I was looking around me in the industry that I was in, the fashion industry, something I love so much, something that was an art to me, and I saw how people were treating it, and I saw how people were treating others, and I didn't want to be a part of it, or at least I thought I didn't. So then, I was lost, and so I said, I want to go try everything on my own now. It's time for me to spread my wings and go and fly, Andre. And I wanted to manage my own life, and I wanted to really manage my own career. So I called up Amber Voigt, my homegirl, the redhead queen of network marketing. And I asked her, can you help me? I don't, I'm lost, I, don't, I need help. And I'm okay with saying that. I understood that for, I, I always understood that. I was watching Tina Turner one time, Tina Turner said when she first left Ike, she called it her year of Operation Oops because there were so many mistakes she made, but she wasn't afraid to say, I don't know that, can you help me? Can you help me? Things change, child, when you let people help you. Things really change. You try to do it on your own, go ahead, be my guest. You, you, fine. You want to do it on your own, go. There are so many people out there doing it on their own, doing it on their own very well, I must say. But it's a lot easier when you work as a team and it's a lot easier when you come together and you understand the art of collaboration and you understand the, uh, the mutual appreciation association is such a great association to be part of. It's a beautiful thing. So now, I go and I meet Amber Voigt. We put together a step-by-step -step system for me. I go on the road to what I call success, on that road to what I call freedom. Okay. And I just go and I serve people, and I help people. Amber told me, Jack, you're so knowledgeable. You have so much wisdom. You're, you're a lot knowledgeable than you think. And I'm gonna say this to you guys because as I grew in my business consulting, as I grew into the person here you see today, I understood there were so many people out there, so many people I have conversations with on a day-to-day -day basis, so many leaders out there that just don't know how powerful they actually are. They don't understand how much knowledge they actually have. They don't understand that they have so much wisdom. If they would just share it with this world, things would be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So that's why I'm here. I'm here to tell you the time is now. It's time. You've, when you signed up for this, you guys in here watching this, I'm gonna say you. I would say some of you, but the mediocre are not in here. The mediocre don't show up to things. The mediocre don't show up to the replays. The mediocre don't show up to uh, the blog posts. The mediocre don't show up to the lives. The mediocre don't show up to the conventions. That's why they're mediocre, right? Leaders show up to conventions. Leaders show up to the lives. Leaders show up to uh, the replays. Is your leader in here? Jennifer Gowen, are you still in here? Let's test her, let's see, if she, let's see how long she stays. Is Miss Jennifer Gowen in here? When she comes in here, start giving some hearts. Uh, but it's crazy because uh, people, they don't realize how good they have it and how much good stuff they could be giving out. So let's talk about that good stuff. Hmm? Let's get down to the meat and potatoes. Let's get down to what you guys all came for because I came here to work, you see. Uh, my sister invited me last night to the Red Lobster. The whole family is going to the Red Lobster. And I said, unfortunately, I already made a commitment to be here to work. And uh, you guys showed up. I thank you for showing up. Uh, I showed up because I came to work. You guys are here to work. Let's work. Let's go do this. So if you're ready to work, say, let's do this. Give it some comments. Say, let's get this show on the road. Enough jibber-jabber. Just jack.com. Get to the point. All right. Take out your first piece of paper. The one that says uh, step one, the people. People are the ones that we work for. It says, you have two hands, one to serve yourself and one to serve others. Our main focus should always be to serve the people. I cannot stress that enough. Your whole intention when you do this stuff, maybe it's about making money. Maybe. 
for some of you. Maybe it's about changing your lifestyle for some of you. Maybe it's about helping your family for some of you. But ultimately, your full intention to be should go out and serve the people. Should be to go out and serve the people. All right, so we got some let's go down. Let's get down and dirty. I like that. I think you sent your word. <laughs> oh, Jennifer going still in here. All right, so what I do, and again, I must say this because results not typical. I'm not your typical person. I'm not. I am not your typical gay boy. I am not your typical internet marketer. I am not your typical drag queen. You cannot stick me inside of a little box. And if you're in here, most likely, you are not typical. You are not average. You cannot be stuck inside of a box. Yes? So, I do five new people. So write that number down in there, five. Because we're gonna go with five new people. And when we do five new people, what I mean is, not to just go and say, uh, comment, you're gorgeous. No. I don't mean go and add every friend. Go add five people. No. That would be too easy. And if it was that easy, the mediocre would be doing it. Which is why they do it. Yes? So, I'm going to teach you the art of attraction marketing. That means getting people to come to you. Getting strangers' eyes on you. Getting other people to come and add you as a friend. So, what I do is I go into different groups where my target market is hanging out. You have to realize most network marketers, the mediocre, they're hunting. Hunting, looking, 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 looking. Some of them are like this. Not me, honey. I'm not hunting nobody. I'm the hunted. I go places where my target market is hanging out. Now, I'm a business consultant. Oh, for, to put a title on it. I'm a business consultant. I'm a leader who has no title. I don't need a title. When you label me, you negate me. Always remember that. But for this training purposes, we're going to say that I'm a consultant. And I consult with people, business owners. So I have to figure out where business owners are hanging out and I go hang out there. So this is a great example. Exactly what I'm doing. Watch what I'm doing, take notes. People like to say, don't just uh, tell me, show me. Here I am in the flesh as I live and breathe with the blood pumping in my veins, showing you exactly what I'm doing, showing you how I am the hunt, how I am the hunted. Because your leader, Miss Jennifer Going, she has people that are also business owners that want to grow and that want to serve people and that want to make money. I work with people who want to grow and want to serve people and want to make money. So I go to groups where those people are hanging out. So this is a good one. You will see earlier, uh, about 15 minutes before the training, I came on and I started scrolling through the feed to see what kind of stuff you guys were uh, posting. And I was going, I was liking, I wasn't just liking actually, I was loving. You should love. Because when you like, it's mediocre. When you love, it boosts up the algorithms. When you love and comment, it boosts up your algorithms and it boosts up my algorithms. So it's a win-win situation. So I was loving and commenting, loving and commenting, loving and commenting. When people see you in a group, they start saying, oh, I miss Jennifer going, oh, there she is posting again. Oh, I like the stuff she's posting, oh, pretty cool. So. I come in here, first we're talking about new people, actually, sorry, let me go backtrack. We're talking about five new people. So when I go into the groups, I will love and comment, and I will ask questions. So there was a lady earlier, I don't remember what her name was, please forgive me, but she was wearing a beautiful brown lip, beautiful brown lip. Now, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the chocolate lip. I like chocolate and burgundy on my lips. And so I put, oh, that looks, I don't know what I put on, it looks gorgeous good or something. What color is that? Is what I asked. So now you ask questions. You go and you meet people. Imagine if you were in a um, let's look at it as a a bar setting. Alright? You ever go to the bar? 
and there's that one douchebag guy that just, you know, you're sitting down minding your own business, not talking to nobody, you're just sipping your cocktail because you had a rough day at work, people pissed you off, and you just want to sit there and you want to be alone with your thoughts. And then that douchebag comes and starts talking about how wonderful he is and how great he is and how big his dick is. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to say that. You get the drill. You, under, you get me, right? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Please forgive me. I'm working on my throat chakra. I'm a drag queen. I'm a drag queen, which means I have the patience of a saint, but the mouth of a sailor. Please forgive me. I forget where I'm at sometimes. Oh my gosh, I'm going to start sweating. Sorry, Jennifer Gowen. But you know that guy. You know that guy. Y'all probably been bothered by that guy on the... It, and the bar and in social media. Those guys are all over the place. Don't be that guy. You want to be that guy that is like JustJack.com. Actually not like me. My friend Sam. We will say my friend Sam. Sam will go up to people and he will tell them, Oh my gosh, I love this about you. And he'll just help start having a conversation. When you tell somebody uh, something good about them, they like that. Try it. Tell somebody they're beautiful. Just tell somebody they're beautiful. Just go up to a, a stranger and notice their reaction and say, God, you are gorgeous. You are beautiful. There was a man at the beach uh, the other day. Me and my friend Alicia went to the beach. And I just couldn't help myself. I walked past him. He was gorgeous. And I said, oh my God. I said, you are gorgeous. And then I said, are you, are you gay or straight? I said, are you gay or straight? Because you can never tell what side a man's bread is buttered on these days. And so he laughs and he smiles and he says, I'm straight. And in my mind, I think, God, that don't mean nothing these days. But instead I said, well, this is my friend Alicia. And I, and I said, meet my friend Alicia. And they were able to chit chat. But when I told him he was gorgeous and beautiful, his face just lit right up. It just lit right up. So go find people in different groups and start having conversations with them. And not only do you have conversations with them, but you create your content and share your content in those groups. So for example, let's say you are in a cooking group, okay? And you do a Facebook Live on how to make, I don't know, maybe a vegan spaghetti, all right? There's lots of people who watch that documentary called What the Health? And lots of people are choosing a plant-based diet these days. So that would be a good thing to start learning. And that would be some great, valuable content to share with your network and your uh, audience. So you do a Facebook Live video on how you do the pasta for the spaghetti for the vegan. Then you let it go through the algorithms. Then you share it from your personal page to the group page. That way you share your uh, offering more value to people. Excuse me. And when people see that what you have is valuable and they start seeing you more and more often, what are they going to do? They're going to go like on your profile and they're going to start scrolling through your feed. Now listen, this is very, very, very important. When they scroll through your feed, what kind of content are they going to be seeing? What are they going to see? Are they going to say, ugh, she's one of those, ugh, get away, Satan, get behind me, not today, moo, I do not have time for you guys. All they want to do is add me so that way they can uh, sell me their wares and, wares and juices and lotions and potions and miracle mascara. Or, or, are they scrolling through your feed and saying, oh, oh I just like this, oh, 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 I'm going to add her as a friend. Which one? Which one are they doing? The choice is up to you to put what you see valuable content on your feed. My cousin Noah P, when the one that said, where have you been? Where's your lives? You, have, you don't do lives. He says, uh, I love to just sit and scroll through your stuff and just read what you have to share because it's so wonderful. I like it. I like it, Jack. Thank you for sharing all that stuff. And that makes me feel good. That makes me feel good as a human being. That makes me feel good as a, as a business owner because then I'm able to, I know, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that what I have is valuable and people want that. And so now when people come to me, I just sort. 
So you go meet five new people. And when those new people come to you, you go send them a message on Facebook. Hey girl, hey, how's it going? Um, I have a four-step messaging system in my group, The Court of Miracles. If you're not part of that, make sure that you ask to be a part of that. Send me a message. I'll get back to you. Um, but if you are going and adding people, if you're in the new phase and you're going and adding people, go look through their feed, see what kind of stuff that they're putting, and see, ask yourself, is this somebody I really want to work with? Is this somebody that I could see myself working with? Is this somebody who has the qualifications to work with me? I don't know. I don't know. You have to decide that. So then you go and you add them as a friend. And if I were you, I would go add them as a friend. And I would say, I would message them. And I would say, hey, girl, hey. I couldn't help but notice whatever the reason you added them for. How have you been? Thanks for the ad. And then you do all the, the rest of the messaging system. But you want to go talk to five new people a day. Then you talk to five old people a day. And when I say old people, this is your hot market. So these are people who have known you for a while. These are people, your friends, your family, your coworkers, all those people. People who basically have seen you with your head in the toilet. And uh, you don't really want to have on your team anyways. Unless they're not the mediocre. Unless they're not the mediocre. Because some... Teams work well with their families. I, for one, I don't work well with my family. I couldn't imagine working with my family. They would drive me nuts. They drive me nuts when I'm not working. So I can only imagine if I was trying to work with them. So now we have uh, five new, five old, and five follow-up. The follow-up is fo so important. So, what am I doing on time? How am I doing? Oops, we're a little bit late. I'm long-winded, girl, sorry. Uh, five follow-ups. The formula, I mean the fortune is in the follow-up. Always remember that. When people, and the follow-up are people that have already told you no. Either they told you no about the opportunity, they told you no that they don't want to get you on the phone, that they don't want to have a phone conversation with you, they told you no that they didn't want to buy your crap, they just told you no. But then you go and you follow up once again. Or they say, uh, you know, right now it's not a good time. Maybe later. My friend Curran he, uh, he wants me to go join his team. Now, personally, I'm unrecruitable at the moment. I know I'm going to go get that water machine that he has. I'm just not going to do it now. I know, and I, I don't know if I'm going to go sell it, but I know I'm going to buy the machine. I'm just not going to buy it right now. He sells uh, water, water machines. And he tells me uh, in the spring, he says, so Jack, you know, where do we stand here? What, what are we doing? Are we going to work together? And I said, you know what, Curran? Ask me in the fall. Ask me in the fall. Maybe we'll work together in the fall. Summer passed. We just had a mastermind. And he says, so Jack, where do we stand? What do you want me to do? You want me to leave you alone? I'm going to put you on my follow-up sheet. And I told him, Curran, when I'm ready, you'll be the first one I talk to. When I'm ready, you'll be the first one I talk to. He left it alone. We're friends. He does not treat me like a prospect. He does not treat me like I have a dollar sign on my forehead. He does not care that this will be a great opportunity for me. No, he just sees me as a friend. And that's how you guys should see each other, as a friend. These five new people, these five old people, these five follow-ups, you should be seeing them as a friend. I'm part of a, I volunteer for this one ministry called Crisio. And Crisio, there's, um, slogan is make a friend be a friend bring a friend to God make a friend be a friend bring a friend to God so that's what you could do with your uh, opportunity make a friend be a friend bring your friend to the opportunity now when we do 5 times 12 that equals 60 60 times 3 equals 180 so by the end of the 12 days if you do this consistently not consistently scratch that word out of your vocabulary consecutively. Write that word down. Consecutively. Consecutively means every single day. Act like you're in jail. Act like you're in jail. And this is something you have to do every single day. You don't have to do, you can't do anything else. You can't go outside and party. You can't do anything. You go and you message five old, five new, five follow-up. 
that's 180 people at the end of the 12 days. But these uh, numbers, these numbers are the, the mediocre numbers. And we in here, we don't do mediocre, boo-boo. We don't do mediocre. So we're going to step our game up a notch, and we're going to do 10. 10 new people, 10 old people, 10 follow-ups. Now, if you're new, please don't think that you have to do this uh, 10. Focus on one. <laughs> Get to the first one. When you are in the new phases, one. Just focus on one, that's all. That's all you have to focus on. Just go talk to one person, and then you compound that. So after you talk to one, go talk to two. After you talk to two, go talk to three. After you talk to three, go talk to four. And after four, go talk to five and keep going and keep going and talking to people, talking to people, talking to people. Does all that make sense? If that makes some sense, give some hearts for that one. So if you do 10 people, and uh, Miss Jennifer going, since you're in here and you want to rank to black, I would highly suggest you be talking to 10 people or more. 10 times 12 equals 120. And 120 times 3 equals 360 people. So by the end of the 12 days, you will have talked to 360 people in 12 days alone. Can you imagine what's going to happen by the end of 30 days? Can you imagine what's going to happen by the end of the first quarter? Can you imagine what's going to happen by the end of the first year? If, if, and this is a big if, if you decide to do this consecutively. Now, I'm not saying work, 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 and have no life. That's not what I'm saying whatsoever. I'm saying have a life by work, 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 work. There's a big difference because I don't know about you, but it, it costs some money to have fun, you know? Ain't nothing free in this world. We like to, take, we like to do free things. I do free things all the time with my kids, uh, my nephews and my nieces. We go to the park, we go to the beach. Free stuff is fun. But really having that lifestyle, that freedom. Here ever been somewhere without cash or without money? It sucks. It sucks having to say, hey, can I bum five bucks off of you? Hey, can I bum 20 bucks? Hey, the kids need diapers. Can I borrow 40 bucks? That sucks. I never want to be in that position. I don't think you want to be in that position either. So we're not even going to go there. We're going to go talk to 360 people. Now step two, sales. This is the part where it gets trickier. Most network marketers there have a problem because they don't know how to bring in a lead and they don't know how to make a sale. I just told you, I just told you a little while ago how to bring in a lead. Now I'm going to teach you how to make the sale. So there's a cute little quote about sales success there. Now, the law of averages. The law of averages my law of averages sometimes it grows sometimes not we're just going to say these are mine for uh, training purposes again results not typical results not typical I can't guarantee it's gonna happen for you I can only speak for myself if I talk to 10 people throughout the day 5 10 old 10 new 10 whatever out of 10 people I talk to on the phone because when I talk to 10 new I send them the same opportunity. Would you like to have a conversation with me? Everybody has the same opportunity. It's a level playing field. If they say no, move on to the next person. So out of 10 people I talk to throughout the day, eight people will book an appointment with me. That means two people are going to tell me no. I don't want to talk to you. And I have to say, that's fine. You don't have to talk to me. That's on you. Fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. I go for no anyways. I'm so used to being told no, it's not even funny anymore. At this point, I have more guts than talent. Believe me. I've been said no to so many times. So, that means two people are going to say no. I don't mind it. Eight people are going to say yes. And out of those eight people, six people are going to buy from me. That means two more people are going to tell me no. I don't want to work with you. No, I don't want your just jack chop. Oh, by the way, let me, uh, oh, I don't have my just jack chop here. This would have been a great time to promote my own chapstick because I make it myself, but I don't have it. Um, anywho, um, no, I don't want to buy your stuff. I don't want to buy your low ticket. I don't want to buy your high ticket. I don't want to buy nothing from you. 
that's okay because six people are. And out of those six people, let's say your average sale is $75. Now, some of you guys are higher, some of you guys are lower. I don't know. I don't know what your average is. I, one of my very first clients, my friend, I will never forget it. She, she's been a friend of mine for decades, all right? Probably about 20 years, she's been a friend of mine. And she's been in network marketing for a long time. And she hired me as her, uh, she, had, she hired me to work with her. So I, she said, I'm, I'm having a hard time because my team is only bringing in 8,500. I said, only 8,500? That's a lot of money for most people, you know? That, that's 8,500 in sales for the month? That's a lot of money. She said, not for the month. No, are you kidding me? No. She said, for the day. I said, you're complaining because your team only brings in $8,500 a day? She said, yeah. Mama don't wake up for less than 10 G, boo. And that's when I realized, God, even the rich have problems. <laughs> Even the rich have problems, and none are so poor they have nothing to give, and none are so rich they have nothing to receive. You mark my words, child. You mark my words. Just It rains on the rich just as hard as it rains on the poor, and the rich have problems just as much as the poor do. It all depends on how we deal with it, you see. So we're going to take $75 as the average, okay? Now... $75 average sales times six, that equals $450 per day. On the daily, $450 is coming into the business, okay? I talk to 30 plus people a day, baby. You go, girlfriend. That's the way you pay the rent, and that's how you rank, by talking to 30 plus people a day. Now. That means 450 total sales times 12 days, that equals $5,400 by the end of 12 days. What would $5,400 in your pocketbook look like? What would that look like to you? Just think about that. Not think about it. Feel it. Envision it. Trust it. Somebody put uh, think it and think it. I say think it. Speak it act upon it, then be it. All of it. All of it, honey. Envision it. Put 5,600 all over your walls. Put it on your bathroom mirror. Put it on your rear view mirror. Put it on the toilet seat. Put it everywhere. Everywhere. Put 5,400. 5, that way the universe understands that it has no other option but to materialize. No other option but to materialize. And money, I'm going to tell you this right now. Money is a byproduct of the value that you put out to the marketplace. So when you put value out into the marketplace and you go out and you serve 360 people, yes, $5,400 will come to you. It has no other choice but to. No other choice but to. That's if you're giving value. That's if you're serving. That's if you go with the right intention. Because with the, when you go with the intention of making money, Honey, any shoplifter can make money. Any shoplifter can have a label. It's not about what you acquire. It's about what you can create. Go create. Go create good content. Go create juicy content. Now again, we are not, uh, these are the mediocre numbers. $75 times six. The average closing rate is six people throughout the day. We're not mediocre, honey. We are not mediocre. We're going to boost it up. Usually it's about uh, 15, 16 people, but we're gonna say 12 for training purposes. Results not typical. If we do 75 times 12 people, that's a $900 day. And if we do $900 days times 12, that is $10,800. Now, what would $10,800 feel like for you? That's a pretty nice chunk of change. Especially if you're just Jack.com. I come, I, I, I do not come from money. The most money I have had in my bank account probably was 80 bucks. <laughs> 80 bucks. The, the, the biggest. 80 bucks. Isn't that so sad? That's so terrible. I can't imagine. I was like, you know, I was thinking about this too. When I first, when we first did this, I was thinking about that time when there were times when I only had 80 bucks, and that was a lot of money to me. 
That was a lot of money to me because I had a broke girl mentality. But honey, I don't have no broke girl mentality now. I don't even speak broke. I don't speak broke. I, I understand, I know like I know, like I know everything, everything, everything I am seeking is also seeking me. I let go of the how and I focus on my heart's desire. My higher self knows how to make it happen. And because I let go of the how, everything, everything needed for the fulfillment of my heart's desire is lovingly and harmoniously gravitated towards me. I accept this or something better. I am ready, I am receptive, and I am grateful. And so it is. And so it is, and so it has been, and so it shall be. Every day I say that affirmation to myself. Every day. Every chance I get, every time I say this is what I want. When I say, when I say sit your butt down, just check.com, what do you want? And I say what I want, and I speak it into the universe, and I speak it into existence, that's what I want. And that's the affirmation I say, and that is why I get whatever I want. Because ask and it is given. Ask and you shall receive. I did a training. Um, I have a whole attraction marketing training in uh, my group, The Court of Miracles, where I talk about this stuff. I talk about how you attract it to your life. You don't have to believe it. You don't have to believe me. You don't have to believe me. But you know what Bob Proctor says? You don't have to understand electricity and believe in electricity to reap the benefits of it either. You don't. We are in a perfect universe constantly in orbit. Perfectly. Well, not right now. We're in Mercury retrograde. That's why I have my Move It Mercury bracelet. My friend Eric Cavell Brown, he makes these. If you don't follow Eric Cabral, Cavell Brown, you should go follow him. He's a really nice guy and he's so sweet. And he is a really good friend of mine. And he makes these bracelets. And he also makes these um, um, stones. He, he hand makes, he hand wraps the stones. Great person. I shouldn't be promoting, but he's a friend of mine and I promote my friends just like I'm gonna promote you guys. If I see that you guys are working, I'll promote it. So do we have any questions about the sales? Because we have to get into marketing now. Mercury is killing me. Yeah, everything that could go wrong has gone wrong today. It really has. But I don't, I don't mind because I'm just Jack.com. I'm a champion. And when champions fall, they get their butts right back up. What did I tell you earlier, Nikki Center Ward? I'm a champion, I'm a leader, I have value, and I provide solutions. And because I am all that, I attract people who are champions, who are leaders, who have value, who provide solutions. Don't you forget it. Now, uh, marketing, number three. The marketer that wins is the marketer with the most eyes on them. Another great quote by Ray Higdon. So, I'm going to tell you right now. Pick one social media platform, excuse me, don't master it. One of your friends, I forgot her name, please forgive me. One of your friends had a really good post in the group about the um, mastering social media. Oops, excuse me. I am just Jack.com and I'm here to tell you you don't have to master anything. You don't gotta get it right. You don't gotta get it right. You don't gotta get it right. You just gotta get it going. That's what Diane Hockman teaches us. You don't gotta get it right. You just gotta get it going. Look at my social media. To be honest with you, if I'm, I'm going to be 100% honest with you and tell it like it is, my social media sucks all around. All around, it sucks. It sucks. You see my email list, I have a low email list. Uh, my social media, my algorithm sucks so much, it's not even funny. Yet, here I am, still working, still here, doing what I do best, talking to people, making money, sharing myself with the world. I don't worry about algorithms. I don't worry about mastering social media. I don't worry about Facebook. I don't worry about Instagram. I don't worry about Twitter. I don't worry about LinkedIn. I don't worry about Snapchat. I don't worry any, about any of that stuff. Because when you understand universal law, all of that stuff is irrelevant. When you understand universal law, when you understand that you get whatever your heart desires, 
so it shall be. None of that stuff matters. I don't understand why people are so focused on the algorithms and posting and doing this and doing this and doing this and doing this and doing this. It's like, God, shut up. Just <laughs> go post something, you know? So uh, then you have, don't master it, get results from it. And then go teach it. Ray Higdon says, invest, learn, teach. Invest your time, invest your money to learn something, learn it, then go teach it. Ray Higdon also says that all those notes that you take and all those notes and those binders that you guys have in your bedroom and on your desk and on the bookcases with all those notes from trainings and webinars and conferences that you went to, all of those notes are uncashed checks. Go create content. If you want to create picture content, you can use a website called Canva, C-A-N-V-A, V as in Victor, dot com, C-A-N-V-A dot com, Canva dot com. They teach you step by step how to do it. Or you can do video marketing, which if you're not doing video marketing, I highly suggest get your butt on camera because video marketing not only changed my life, it changed my whole entire business. I use Facebook Live as a way to attract people to know, like, and trust me. You won't see me on there promoting my wares and tears. Nobody goes on Facebook to buy your crap. You won't see me going on there and gallivanting and hooting and hollering and showing what amazing concert I went to or me and my friends partying or a baseball game or any of that. No. you. I go on there because I want to share my gift, which is speaking with the world. Actually, my heart. My heart's my gift. I have a really big heart. It's beautiful. I used to tell people it was black and ugly, but I have to say it's beautiful. It's a beautiful heart to share pe with people, and that's what I do. I go and I share my heart with people. And I do that so that way I use it as a tool to get people to the next level, to get people to the next place. So when people come to my Facebook, they see my Facebook lives, they say, you know what, this cat's a really good, this is a cool cat. He's really cool, I kinda like him. I wanna add him as a friend. When they add me as a friend, then I say, hey, you know what, you should join my group. Go like my business page, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Today, what am I gonna say today? Today in your group, because I went into a group where there were strangers how many of you guys in here, just for uh, giggles, how many of you guys in here have never seen me before this? How many? Say I have. I've never seen you or say I've seen you before. I want to know. But there are going to be people in here who did not know me. Strangers. And I said, give me your, I went on camera. I used video marketing to say, hey, invite them to the training tonight at 7 p.m. Give me your email address because I have a great worksheet for you. Then I got their email address. If you open the email, you'll see there's more invitations in there. I'm not telling you go like my Facebook fan page. I'm not telling you follow me on Instagram. I'm not telling you follow me on Twitter. I'm giving you the opportunity to come and follow me on Instagram. Come follow me. Let's grow together. Every invitation is an opportunity. That is permission marketing. When you ask permission, you ask permission. So when the people get on the phone and they will ask you, nine times out of 10, they'll ask you, what is it that you do for a living? For some strange reason, that's small talk to people and people really wanna know, they're curious, they're nosy. And I'll tell them. So what you could say when people ask you, now again, let's, let's just go back to the phone conversation because we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves here. When you get them on the phone, you have 15 minutes, tops. 15 minutes to give some value to them. Gary V says, give value, give value, give value, then ask for business. You have 15 minutes to give them value. And the way we do that is by asking question after question after question after question after question. Ultimately, what you wanna find out from your prospect, as you call them, what you want to find out is, number one, are they happy? You'd be surprised. Lots of people in this world, they are not happy. I call Facebook fake book 
because they, you, on one hand, you see all this wonderful stuff, you think, oh, they're such a perfect couple, they have this, they have this, they have this, and they got on the phone with me, and then they're like, Jack, my life sucks, oh my god, I need your help, and I'm like, oh, okay, how can I help you, customer service 101, you know, but uh, people aren't happy, so you gotta figure out if they're happy or not. Now, if they're not happy, another question you need to ask is, do they have a step-by-step -step system that gets them on the road to happiness? Nine times out of 10, they don't. And if they did, they wouldn't be talking to you, most likely, right? The next question and the last question should be, would you, uh, not would you, um, would you be interested in seeing a step-by-step -step video, uh, would you be interested in seeing a video? No. Don't quote me on this one. You shouldn't be saying this. Basically, are they willing to see a step-by-step -step system that gets them on the road to happiness, on that road they call freedom? Basically. And the way we do this is when they say, so what do you do? What do you do for a living? Tell me about you. Because when they call, you ask the questions. You hold all the cards. You are the authority figure. You are the person who attracted them in the first place. It's all you. You got this, boo. So you give value, give value, give value, give value. Then they finally ask you, what do you do for a living? You say, well, you know, maybe you are a school teacher by day. And by night you are Wonder Woman. I'm just kidding. But maybe you are a school teacher by day. You say, you know, I, I teach fifth grade usually, but Right now, my main focus is on building my little online business with makeup. You know, I actually have a party going on right now. If you'd like, I can send you the link to that party and you can see behind the scenes exactly what I do. And who knows, maybe you might want to be a host of the parties and invite some of your friends, get some free makeup. What do you think? Would you like me to send you that link? Would you like me to send you that link? Who's going to say no? Who's going to say no to that? Right? Now, if they say no, you say, okay, that's fine, whatever, you know, no worries, no sweat off my back. I'm going to be used to saying, people saying no to me. But most of the time, they're going to say yes. And it depends on what you do in that party. Uh-oh, we only have a few minutes left. What you do in that party that is going to keep them. Um, this is the last paper that you have that C, the, says CTA. Um, the video marketing strategy. One thing that really boosted my influence was one minute videos. Daily, one minute business tip videos. And the way you do that, you have a topic, you have three key points, and you have a call to action, a strong call to action. Now a call to action is what you want your audience to do next. So then, so let's say, we'll take this as a call to action. After this video, and this is the truth. This is from JustJack.com, speaking to all of you wonderful people in here in the live and the replay, the blog post. After this video, if you got some value from this and you want to talk more, add me on Facebook. I would love to be friends. I do friends better than I do followers. Don't follow me. I, I do friends. I don't really talk to my followers. Let's have a conversation. If you want to have a conversation, let me know. Say, hey, girl, hey, how's it going? We'll book a conversation. Who knows? That's a call to action. What I want people to do next. Now I'm taking you from the group to my personal page. And on there is all more value, all that stuff. Does all that make sense? So now with this page, you have six days of content to create. So use this. Use this tool. Don't just let it sit there in a, bar in a binder. Use it. Put out some good content. And every day, put out a one-minute video. And not, don't just put out a one-minute video. Put a one minute video from your business page, let it go through the algorithms a little bit, a couple of hours later, share it from your business page to different groups. That way they can click on your business page and they can start seeing who you are. And then later on at night, if I were you, also if I were you, I would put um, captions subtitles on my video by using an app called uh, Video Shop because most of the time people don't listen to you. They read what you have to share and they just keep on scrolling. So I would share it at nighttime 
from my business page to my personal page. Why? Why? Because people have this crazy thing where they say, I'm going to bed early tonight, but they don't go to bed. They lay there and they scroll and they scroll through the feed, which is a bunch of crap. And the way I see things is, if they're watching crap anyways, they might as well see my crap. And as long as they're seeing my crap, I don't care if they like, comment, or subscribe because the person with who wins is the person with the most eyes on them. Boom. So now, we have talked a lot. <laughs> we have shepherd jabbed. We have uh, said a few curse words. Sorry about that. We have shared some value with you. We have taught you how to go serve 360 people. We have taught you step by step how to go and make $900 a day. We have taught you how to make $5,400 in 12 days. We have taught you how to make $10,800 in 12 days. And the sky is the limit. It's up to you. Now, I would have liked to talk about the party, but we don't have time to talk about the party. Actually, I have all the time in the world, but Facebook is going to cut me off pretty soon. They only give you so much time, so I'm going to have to say goodbye. Let's take a 15-minute break. And I'm going to come back in fifth. Actually, let's take a five minute break. Uh, refill your big girl drink. We will meet back here in five minutes and we will talk about the party that I went to that got someone even like me, justjack.com, to buy from them. So I would like to share that with you. If you would have me over, if you got some value from this, add me as a friend. Spend the next five minutes refilling, go potty, add me, um, send me a message. St if you don't have anything else to do, start sending out some messages to your people. Go do that. Get to work. Lots and lots of love. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, Felicia. I heard that they lifted the time limit. Oh, did they? Did they lift the time limit? If it cuts me off, we'll meet back in five. But until then, I'm going to... Uh, Keep on talking because I don't know how to go potty. Am I coming in okay? Am I, am I, uh, what's it called? Am I uh, breaking up here? Let's talk about the party. So, one day I'm going to share through story, which I do. Understand. Facts tell. Okay. Facts tell. But stories sell. And we all love stories. Who doesn't like story time? It's story time. You're here. Okay, I'm good. I'm here. I'm here. I'm good. I need some just jack chat. That's what I need. So, I will tell you my story now. One day I was sitting there, minding my own business, not bothering anybody as I usually do. And I get a notification from my mother. Facebook says, Mother, uh... Maxine has invited you to Don's perfectly posh party. Ugh, I roll my eyes as I usually do. Talk crap in my head with my 60,000 people that live in my head. And I call up my mother. And I say, listen, mother darling, please, 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 please don't add me to those groups anymore. I work with people like that. These groups are filled with nothing but desperate network marketers just trying to get my money. I work very hard for my money and I'm not just going to give it away to any old buddy. Don't invite me there. It's bad enough I have to have these people as my clients and I have to go listen to what they have to do and critique them. So then she says, uh, no, no. No, 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 son of mine, you are going to go to this party. And you don't have to be active in it. You just got to go and add yourself because I'm running by a point system. The light bulb turns on in just Jeff.com's head. So I go. And because I'm nosy, what do I do? I start scrolling through the feed. Now, I'm going to tell you what exactly what she had. This woman had a party like I had never seen before. And I've been to many parties. Like I said earlier, the mediocre, it's mundane, nothing new, nothing impresses me. It's hard. It's very difficult to entertain me. It really is. So I was entertained. I was entertained. I felt good. I was like, I like the 
Christmas party. Oh my gosh. So in the beginning, the pin post in the party, it was a three-day party. The pin post was a side-by-side -side of the posh lady who was throwing the party and the hostess, which was Dawn. Dawn is my mother's CEO at her work. I don't know Dawn at all. I don't know Dawn from Adam. So it was a quick five minute video and it just said, hey, you know, this is how it's gonna go down. They explained the rules, not the rules, the uh, point system. The more interactive you were, the more points you got. Now take notes because this woman knew what she was doing because even when you get people to be interactive in your posts, in your party, in your groups, that means that even if they don't go into the group, it will still show up on their feed, whoever is invited. That's a good tip to know. Stick that one in your juice box and suck it. So everything was by a point system. And of course, people wanted to rack up points and people wanted to win the prizes. Even I was trying to rack up points. And what I loved is that the woman, the posh lady, made everything about the hostess. She made every, everything was about Dawn. Everything was about Dawn. It was Dawn's friends. Anyways, you know, she didn't go in there and sell us her wear and tears. Yeah, you know, once in a while she'd show us a few products that she had. But for the most part, it was all about Dawn. And one post, one interactive post, one hour and five minutes. And, oh, and I'm still here. Thank you, Chelsea Reber. Thank you very much. Um, so one of the interactive posts was, tell us your favorite funny story about Dawn. The person who gets them, and, and go vote. Vote for other people, because the person who gets the most likes, the most happy faces, is the person who wins. Now, I don't know Dawn from Adam. I've only met Don at the company party once, so I think outside the box. I think, okay, what can I possibly say? So I think of the story. And this is a true story, by the way. And I put, Don, remember at the company party when we were on the dance floor and that little man started backing his thing up on you and you proceeded to, no, then you grabbed his hair and proceeded to bend him over, causing him to rip his pants. Ha 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 ha. Crying face emoji, crying face emoji, crying face emoji. Enter. Girl, JustJack.com had the most likes on that thing. Everybody was laughing. People started following me because I was interactive. People started adding me on Facebook. And, you know, what did they do? What did they do? They, they saw this guy has a funny post. This is, this is a funny comment in here. What is this? When they looked at my picture, when you look at my Facebook profile picture, it's like, what is that? Is that a boy or a girl? Is that a lesbian? You know, it's that kind of thing. They're curious and I keep people curious because I know this, I know this because I'm gay, honey. Curiosity killed the cat. Satisfaction brought it back. That is a justjack.com guarantee. Another interactive post was, talk about how you met Don. And one thing I really, 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 really liked was when they were showing us the product, the week prior, the posh lady sent Don some samples of her stuff. And so when they went on live together, they came on live about three or four times. When they went on live together, Dawn was able to sample right then and there all the stuff that she had from Posh, that she had gotten from the Posh lady. So there was no take two. There was no posh lady going on there and telling you how wonderful all this stuff was. No, it was Dawn saying, ooh, my skin feels good after using this. Ooh, I like how this makes me feel. Ooh, and it smells real good too. I really like that. They're raw, unedited, uncut. Take notes. Take notes. Another thing she did, this lady knew what she was doing. She understood marketing. What did I say earlier? As marketers, we know how to move lots of people in a small amount of time. Three days. Three days. And she got other people to do the work for her. So instead of going out there and getting people herself, what she did, she said, we're going to do a challenge now. Um, rack up some points. Go invite your friends to this party. So that way they can come and they can have a good time. 
for every friend you add, excuse me, for every friend you invite, you get a point. So they started racking up points. That's what my mother was so successful in. She was racking up points. Girl, she went there, she add friend, add friend, add friend, add friend, add friend, add friend. I didn't know Don. There was no way in heck Don would have ever added me to that Facebook party. But because Don knew my mom and my mom knew me, I was added to the party. Do you see how all that works? Are we speaking your language here? I hope so. Because another thing she did, and this was at the very end, she said, um, you know, she offered if we wanted to do the party. Um, if you guys want to have one of these parties and rack up some more points and really be interactive and really do what Don just did and get some, get some stuff, um, you too could also have a party. If you have a party, an online party, if you become a hostess, you get 50 points. I almost signed up to be a dang hostess, but I was, I didn't, I didn't sign up. I don't really do that stuff. But um, 50 points if you book a party. I don't know how many people booked a party that day. Another thing she did, she said, um, if you like all this stuff and you want to get more valuable content, feel free to join my group by clicking this link. If you join my group, you get this many points and you get this many points for every person that you add to join my group. Another one she did was her fan page, her business page. She said, don't forget to like my business page. If you like my business page, you can get a point, this many points. If you invite your friends to like my business page, you get a point. If you put, if you share my business page on your wall and tag five people, you get 60 points. Do you see how all that works? And of course people were doing it. Why wouldn't they? It wasn't costing them no money to do that. It wasn't costing them no money, yet she was putting people, she was getting people from all over the world. That's how you do it. That's how you pay the rent. Or so I've seen. Because at the very end, the very end, I didn't critique her on the products or services that she promoted. I didn't critique her on the way she gave her Facebook lives. I didn't critique her because she had a twitch in her eye and a snaggle tooth. I didn't critique her because she wasn't wearing no makeup. I didn't critique her because her nails weren't done all the way. There were nothing like that. I critiqued her on the way she made me feel as an individual human being. How did she make me feel? And ultimately, she made me feel good. And so yes, I did. I bought me a gender bender. I bought me a gender bender because I, that's what I wash my brushes with, a gender bender. And I didn't do it because Mother Darling said I had to do it. Mommy Dearest did not tell me I had to go in there and buy her crap. I didn't. I didn't go in there because I knew Dawn and I felt obligated to buy her crap. I didn't go in there because I felt bad for that lady because she was on there hustling, trying to sell her wear and tears. No, I went on there because she made, I bought because she made me feel good. And that's what it's about. It's about serving people and making them feel good. Now, now, I started implementing this and I'm already seeing an interest. Oh, Nikki Center Ward, I'm glad to see you're not just sitting down on your butt. You're actually going out there working. Oh, <coughs> see, this is what, this is the kind of stuff that excites me. This is what melts my butter. I like this kind of stuff. I only wash my brushes with the gender bender. Yeah, Alicia Harmon. I love gender bender. That's right. Uh, great info. Enjoying hearing it the other day. Now to get a party going to use this info. Don't just have one party. Don't just have one party. I learned this from Brianne Kerr. If you don't follow Brianne Kerr, go follow Brianne Kerr. That's my homegirl. Have multiple parties. Have multiple parties and be talking to multiple people on a daily basis. Because if one party sucks, don't worry because you have five more going. If three parties suck, don't worry, you have 10 more parties going. If five parties suck, don't worry, you have 500 more parties going. The same thing with your team, you see. The same thing with your team. Do not worry about somebody who is working. Look at your team as a garden. Not your team. Mm -mm. Your network. Look at your network as a garden. Money does not grow on trees. Money grows 
on the seeds, no, on the plants. Hmm. Money grows on the trees of the seeds that you plant. That's where money grows on. So go plant the seeds. Go plant the seeds, go water, and then harvest. In your garden, you will see that there are some seeds that are growing, and you will harvest them, and you, they will, others will grow, and you will harvest, and others will grow, and you will harvest, and they will do really well. These are people who do the work on your team. They do lots of work. They produce. They make money. They, they're in it for the long shot. They do good. Then you will see some people who grow uh, little by little, a little slower than the people who are working. It's okay, because these people will grow a little bit and little bit and little bit, and pretty soon they will be the size of an avocado tree. And you will look at that avocado tree and that individual, you will say, oh, it is so glad, I'm so glad I did not give up on them. I'm so glad I continued to water that. I'm so glad I continued because now I can harvest the avocados off of that tree. I can harvest whatever that tree brings forth. Then you will see other trees who take a long time. No, six years. We will call them the bamboo trees. Bamboo takes about six years. Slow and steady they will grow. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Do not judge them. Do not criticize them. Do not speak ill of them. Do not badmouth them. Do not talk crap about them behind their back. Do not do anything but love them and serve them and do it daily. Love them and serve them because it may take six years, but one summer they're going to shoot up just like bamboo do. Just like bamboo do. And sometimes you, you will know that in the winter, in the winter, when the road, like that song, remember? When the road seems so lonely and the road seems so long and you feel that that love is only for the lucky and the strong and you feel that there is that seed there, you planted it, you don't know what's going on. Just remember, in the winter, far beneath that bitter snow lies the seed that with the sun's love in the spring becomes the rose. You have to let that rose blossom. No matter how many thorns it has on it. Believe me, some of them roses, they have thorns and they are prickly sons of bitches. Oh God. Throat, throat chakra. I'm working on my throat chakra. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. So now, now, we are done. Do we have any questions, comments, concerns? Are we going to go and implement all these ideas? What do you think? What do you think, Miss Jennifer Gowen? How did I do? Was it worth it? Was it worth it coming in here and spending the time and missing the red lobster, the rouge crustacean? I shouldn't even be eating red lobster. Y'all shouldn't be eating fish either. There is so much stuff in there from Fukushima and the fish. It's not even funny. Uh, you did amazing. Oh, good. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. Just one. Just one. That's all that matters. If, if sometimes you will feel like you are working and 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 sometimes it feels like you are screaming into an empty well. But know that even if you've touched just one You've done your job. You've done your job. Um, I'm going to go to work. Good. Absolutely. Thank you. You rock. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I learned so much. It means a lot to me. Thank you. You want to talk more? Add me on Facebook. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So glad you did this live for us. I'm really glad too. I, I've enjoyed myself. I like doing these things. This is what I do. This is what I live for. Um, before I leave, I will leave you guys with this. Remember to add me on Facebook. Um, Let's work together. If you feel like you want to work with me, come. Let's work together. Let's have a conversation. The first 15 minutes are free. I'll know if I want to work with you afterwards. I, I Again, I don't work with everybody. I pre-qualify. I don't know if sometimes people have lots of ambition. You'll see the mediocre. Lots of ambition out there. Lots of ambition. But honey, ambition ain't nothing without execution. Bloop. That's my last one. Let's talk about business cards real quick because 
the way I, I don't do business cards. I don't do business cards. When I meet somebody, let's say a waitress in a restaurant that I see as a hard worker, I work with workers. You like me, see? I work with workers. So I'm constantly looking for people who are really good workers, and I'm constantly looking at people who are not afraid to be themselves and let their freak flight fly. And so, like when I get a good waitress, I say, um, do you have Facebook? Can we be Facebook friends? And they say yes, and right there I get them on Facebook. Right there. Then, what are they gonna do? They're gonna start scrolling through my feed, scrolling through my feed, and watching my content, and hopefully, if I do my job right, I'll be able to help them manage their own lives, manage their own careers, so they don't have to be waitressing anymore. So they don't have to be a cocktail waitress asking people for cigars or cigarettes. You know? Facebook is my business card. My success stories are my certifications. Lots of people say, well, I gotta get certified. Are you certified? What's a certification? A piece of paper that says I'm capable of doing my job? And what? If you say no, you're not capable, what am I gonna do? Throw it at you? No. My success stories are my certifications. And my legacy, my legacy lies in the lives of every single person that I've ever had an impact on. You remember that. Go out, love. Love like no other. Give it your all. Every time, every time. Give it all you got because you only get one shot. You don't know. This may be your one shot. Go give it. Go serve the people. I'll talk to y'all soon. I'll see you guys in this group. I'll be watching. Just like Roz, I'm watching you, Wazowski, always watching you. Lots of love, my friends. Bye, Felicia.